Health inequalities are avoidable differences in healthcare that are linked to a range of factors such as deprivation, ethnicity and disability. Health inequalities are the reason that people in our most deprived areas die up to 12 years younger than those in our wealthiest. We also see health inequalities play out in a range of areas. For example, in maternity, where black women experience consistently worse outcomes, and in outpatients, where our most deprived patients are least likely to attend their appointments. The key here is that health inequalities are avoidable, and that the whole health and care system plays a role in tackling them, including hospital services. We are working with partnership agencies and community organisations and have made a significant impact on hepatitis C screening and engagement with treatment, especially for vulnerable and hard to reach people. It's about bridging the gap between healthcare provision and inequalities to improve care and outcomes for all. We've looked at the data on where inequalities are prevalent and we are working with affected groups to co-design solutions. These can be simple and powerful, like the work we have undertaken to improve attendance at follow-up appointments among our Asian communities. Access has been greatly improved, and that has been through understanding the barriers, whether transport or timing of appointments, and making changes that address them together. Working well with communities is about building relationships and trust. It's important because it brings the insight and lived experience that data alone just, just doesn't give us. You need both especially in an area as richly diverse as ours. This year, we established a UHL Health Equality Partnership, which is made up of over 40 community leaders and organisations who come together to guide our health inequalities work. They hold the mirror up to us and keep us honest. We then bring that insight into the organisation and the wider system to make change happen. It is just thinking about all, one community, irrespective of their colour or religion, or background or gender or anything. That is important, that's what that group is important for us to be challenging time to time. Every, every single member in this partnership has something to say. The answers lie within this room and we can only do this together and address those health inequalities because that creative problem solving is where we will find the answers. But it's very important that everyone at an equal level playing field to access the NHS services. That currently isn't the case. Uh, it's important that groups at a disadvantage in different ways have those uh, disadvantages um, uh, addressed and only by working as a partnership through the voluntary sector who deal with different patient groups can they understand the needs and the challenges and the solutions enable us to enable more equitable access to our NHS services. Together we can provide high quality care for all. Together we can include the new communities. Together we can narrow the health inequalities gap. Together we can improve the health of our communities. Together we can make the difference.